Greetings friends and fellow cigar boss guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here and I just finished up my first brick. This is not it and this is not it but I did want you to see the boxes here. These boxes here are awesome. They're, they're wooden boxes and they're just super sturdy and beautiful. I mean look at those scratches and the, the patina and the, the dimension and the color. Seriously, these are awesome. Um, this here is not the guitar uh, in this video, but this is another one that is in mid-production. This is going to be a, um, a hobo fiddle, a 20-inch scale, just tempered. Now, the guitar I wanted to show you is right below, right here. I'm going to pull it up, and you're going to see it right now. Check this out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, it's right. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, um, yeah, so, so see how these, the scratches are like on the top of this thing here? So I went with that theme, and there's scratches actually in the fretboard. Um, maybe you can see it up here on the top. So both on the, you can see something right here. If you see it really close in, in personal, um, in good light, you'll be able to see those scratches and also in the headstock here. Don't put your eye out with that hand, but check check out the scratches in the headstock. Um, again, that is into keeping in with the theme of the original box here. Uh, let me see if I, okay, I can show you some of the scratches on the top here. You can see, see them up in here really good here. Check this out. Yeah. So the, uh, the fretboard has been highly um, sanded down to 2000 grit sandpaper and dark stained so that it looks kind of old ish you know these are solder burns um of course the open gear tuners on the back i'm going to i was debating debating whether or not to put a strap button on this and the reason being is because see how this a uh, little guy has to be recessed for the, uh, for the for the plugger inner thingy. Well, so that renders this whole bottom flat. And so one of the benefits of having that is this. Check this out. See this little dude right here? My little friend? All right, check out what he's going to do. He's going to babysit the brick. Okay, so that thing will just stay wherever you put it. Because it's nice and flat so you could set it up on a um, um, bookshelf or I got my little stool here so you can see here just put it anywhere it obeys watch here stay all right so we are tuned E B, E. You probably wonder, why do you keep saying that? Because people keep asking that. What are you tuned to? So, this is kind of like one of my go-to tuners, tunings. It's um, um, just easy because I'm a guitar player and the top string is always E, the bottom string is always E, and the second one up from the bottom is always B, and so this way here are my licks. Trans translate uh, as far as the thickness this gauge here is 44 this gauge here is 34 and this gauge here is 26 and these are all wound so I get that sound or this sound and I'll show you the, uh, the package of the strings I use here. southbound Made in America, and I get them at the at the cbkitty.com store. Okay, so yes, I'm going to plug this one in here, uh, but first I wanted you to be able to hear it unplugged first. Why? Because this thing sounds amazing. That's why. It's got that uh, that low chug, that chug sound. Okay, so um, 
Let me uh, pull up my little chair here. Actually, it's just a leg rest. All right. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see here. What, what, what to play? Um, I always play the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over again. How about this one? So I do have the intonation set up so that the harmonics match the frets all the way up. And I like to demonstrate that by hitting these harmonics up here and then hitting the note. Hear that? Hear that? Same exact. Do the middle string. Harmonic. Note. So if your harmonics match the notes way up here, then you're good to go, dude. Okay, so we are going to plug this thing in and I have a nice uh, generic sound. Show you the, I'll show you the amp settings because people always wonder, want to see the amp settings. Yeah. All right, so I told you, straight up, nothing, nothing fancy here, folks. Nothing fancy here. Check this out, though. Check out the sound of this thing. I'm gonna leave you with a quick trick. A trick you say, yes, yeah, a trick. Hold your pick with your thumb and your middle finger. That leaves your index finger free to do what? No, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna put our fingertip of our index pointer finger on the harmonic and we're gonna pick with our middle finger and the thumb holding the pick this way. This is how you do it, it's real simple. I'm just going to, um, I'll, make, I'll make this real easy here. I'll, I'll uh, put my finger here across the 12th fret. So I'm barring with my index finger on my left hand across the 12th fret. That means the harmonics are going to be right here at the 19th fret. So this is how you do it. It's like, 
So I'm just putting my finger there and then picking with the... And you can just go... Isn't that cool? So, if just like um, the harmonics are here at the... Uh, what do you call it? The 5th uh, fret and 7th fret when it, for open strings. Same thing, watch. So I'm doing all of them, kind of raking it, but you can do one at a time. So wherever you put your finger, just count up five frets, one, two, three, four, five, and then, then count up seven frets. So I come up here, it's gonna be, come up here, it'll be, isn't that cool? So that's a cool little trick, right, for you guys. Then you can combine that with like hammers and poles and get all, get all the psychedelic. Started playing and then that dog started howling. Listen. Sorry, dog. All right, I'm gonna leave you a little outro. singing or complaining he's complaining all right turn it down sorry dog sorry dog all right guys don't forget if you like these videos be sure to comment share subscribe like be sure to check my patreon link be sure to check the links in the in the video description below um what six strings or three strings too many and Stay tuned for more. Take care, guys.